Now we will learn how to create packages. Classes created so far were using same namespace that had no name. Java allows you to organize classes into packages that represent folders on your hard disk. You can create a package by simply providing package command as the first line in your program. The general form to create a package is package keyword followed by package name and terminated by a semicolon. Here package is the name of package. Java uses local file system to store packages. Now let us see a simple example. Suppose you are working in the folder e colon backslash Java work. Then create a folder my package in this folder and save test.java in my package folder. Compile the Java file. The class file must be in my package folder now. To execute a file inside a package, the execution command is bit different. In this case, it will look like this. Now we will discuss access protection of classes and class members in a package. This table summarizes the access to the classes and members declared as private, protected and public. It also enlists the access when no access specifier is provided. Anything declared public can be accessed from any class. Members declared as private are not visible to outside to this class. When member has no access specifier, it is visible to subclasses and other classes inside that package. This is the default access. If you want to allow a member to be available to the classes that inherit a class, you have to declare it as protected. Now we will learn how to import a package in your program. Import statements can be used to import a user-defined package. Java's built-in packages are third-party packages. This example illustrates it. Save and compile test1 file in my package folder as already discussed. Save test2 program in e colon backslash java work and compile it. This program uses an import statement to import test1 class from my package. It creates an object of test1 class in main method and prints the message using print method defined in test1 class. It is important to note that the class test1 should be declared public in my package. Print method should also be public otherwise these would not be accessible in test2 class. Now we will learn interfaces. Interfaces are used to abstract the implementation details of a class. That is, you can use interfaces to specify what a class should do but not how it should do. The general form to define an interface is access specifier followed by interface name followed by block that contains methods and variables. Here access can be public. If no access specifier is used then interface is only available to the classes inside that package only. Name of interface must be valid identifier. Here are some important things about interfaces. If a class implements an interface, it must include all the methods of that interface. An interface can be implemented by many classes. The methods declared in an interface have no body. These are abstract methods. If an interface is declared public, all methods and variables are implicitly public. A class can implement more than one interfaces. In this case, these must be separated by commas. In this part of Unit 7, we will learn about exception handling. We will learn fundamental concepts, exception types, exception handling using built-in exception handler, try and catch blocks, nested try statements, multiple catch statements. We will also learn about exception class hierarchy provided by Java. 
Now we will learn basic concepts of exceptions in Java. Exception is an abnormal condition that arises in a program during execution. For example, division by zero, array index out of bound exception, string index out of bound, and the file exception, file not found exception. When an exceptional condition arises, Java throws an object that represents the error condition. Exceptions can be generated by Java runtime system or these can be manually generated by user code. Java runtime system throws an exception and disrupts the program when program code violates rules of Java language. Programmer can generate exceptions manually to tell some error condition. Java categorizes exceptions into two types. These are unchecked exceptions and checked exceptions. Unchecked exceptions are mostly derived from runtime exceptions and error classes and their subclasses. Java does not check to see whether a method handles or throws these exceptions. These are handled by default handler and thrown automatically by Java runtime system. Checked exceptions are also defined by java.lang package. These exceptions are derived from classes other than runtime exception and error class and their subclasses. These exceptions must be handled by a method. If these are not handled, then all checked exceptions that are likely to be generated by a method must be specified in its throws list. This example shows how to handle checked exception. This program contains a try and catch block inside try block at line 6. The statement generates an arithmetic error. At this line, exception is generated and thrown from try block. Any code after this line in this block will not execute and program control is transferred to catch block that handles the arithmetic exception generated by line 6. There must be a catch or finally block for a try block. Try and catch blocks make a single unit. Catch clause handles the statements of preceding try block that is written before it. Its scope is limited to only statements of preceding try block. If you are using multiple catch statements, then their sequence is important. Now let us see this program. This code will generate compilation error. Line 7 of this program will generate an arithmetic exception. Line 9 is superclass of arithmetic exception, so it can catch exceptions of exception type and also exceptions of all its subclasses. So it can handle exception generated by line 7, making line 13 unreachable. Therefore, the program does not compile. To correct this program, simply change the sequence of catch statements by shifting block of code from line 13 to line 16 before line 9. Java has defined many exception classes in java.lang package. This package is imp imported in all Java programs automatically. Java categorizes exceptions into two types. These are unchecked exceptions and checked exceptions.